Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a story time video. So I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about my survival show experiences. So today I'm going to be talking about the time that I performed on a music show. And I'm going to be splitting them into parts because I think I wouldn't want a 40 minute long video. And also, I'll, I'll be able... <laughs> And also, I'll be able to explain each one further in detail this way. So I'm going to be spreading them out. So yeah, let's get started. For those of you guys who don't know, I was on a survival program to debut in a K-pop boy group. And one of the things we did while I was on the survival program was we went to promote our newest song for the show on a music show. I don't remember if the program was Music Core or Music Bank. There's so many. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what... A music show is basically the idols groups um, go on a music show weekly program and they promote their new comeback song or their debut song and it's for like their fans to go watch them live so the day was quite long so I have my phone here just to like remind me what to talk about so if I'm looking down that's probably why the music show promotions they start really early so our group specifically had 19 members so because we had 19 members that's 19 people have to get their makeup done that's 19 people that we have to get on stage and rehearse. So because of this, our original meeting time was 3 a.m. So we had to be um, awake and outside, ready to go to the salon and be at the salon by 4 a.m. I remember this day was kind of a bit complicated because the, right, the night before we had practice for the show. So we had practice till around 10 p.m. And by the time I got home, it was already around 11 30 p.m. so meaning that we had to wake up in like four or three hours and I know me personally I am like not a morning person I am like the worst morning person I like don't wake up in the morning so I knew that there was no way I was gonna be able to function if I slept so because of this I decided to stay awake for 24 hours so I did not sleep before the music show and I stayed awake till 3 a.m. also like we have to get we have, before you go to salon. You have to um, shower. You have to wash your hair and stuff so that the styling is better. So I already knew that with waking up at like 2 a.m. and showering to get out the door by 3, it was not gonna work. It was not gonna happen. So I decided to just stay awake and get ready. And so I just got ready. And by the time I finished getting ready, it was 3 a.m. And then we went outside and we got into our car to go to the salon by 4 a.m. So. I was living with other people, so with other of the people participating in the program. So also, if I were to just wait till like the last minute, it's really hard, you know, to get ready in the showers and everything when there's so many members and you have to do everything yourself. So I didn't want to deal with that. So I just did it ahead of time. So I knew when I decided that I wasn't going to sleep, I knew I was going to be really tired after like 4 p.m. to like later in the day just because... I didn't sleep for 24 hours and like these shows are really hard because you have to rehearse it like six times like and there's all these type of rehearsals which I will get into later but basically I knew it was gonna be really exhausting but at this point I already knew like why like some idols get so tired and like some even faint on stage if you will when they're performing just because they don't really you really don't have time to sleep especially we were only doing one music show but like some of these people are like going to one every like every day of the week so i know that can get like a little bit like a lot like you finish one and then you have to already go to the next one so luckily for us we only just have to go one we got out of the house at 3 a.m ready to go to the beauty shop at 4 a.m however i do remember that our bus was a little bit late so which is not good because we can't really be more late because like i said we had 19 members so i think we got to the beauty shop around maybe like 4 20 around there which is a little bit late but actually when we got to the music to the beauty shop um nothing really exciting happened you know it was just you just sit around and you wait and you just wait for everyone's hair and makeup to get done at this point they still don't take our phones away so we are able to just like look at our phones and so the time doesn't really seem as long it's not as bad everyone was really tired and like sleepy because it's still 4 a.m so but actually, other than that, like nothing at the beauty shop important actually happened. Just waiting around and getting your makeup done. Then after our makeup was done, we headed out back on the bus, all 19 members. And we went to the music show to arrive at the station at around 5 a.m. So as soon as we arrived at the music show, we went to our waiting room. And our whole 19 members and our makeup artists and our stylists were all in the one room. So it was a little bit chaotic, but it was fine. And our staff, so we just put all our bags there and we waited. Also, right after we put our bags in here, we went to the 
stage and we would sit in the section where the audience would originally sit and then so the audience was here and then the stage is like up here and you just like they're performing this way and so we got to see the other rehearsals as well during this time we just saw um, all the staff that were working and then you introduce yourselves and then you say thank you and yeah some it was kind of crazy because during this time a lot of popular idols were promoting which was really unexpected for me at uh, this time i wasn't really keeping up with the comebacks because i didn't really have time so when i went there exo was promoting love shot mama Moo was perform performing um wind flower jenny was doing solo i mean it was doing fiance and because of this, I got to see them all do their rehearsal. I think my favorite by far was definitely Jenny Solo. I never thought I would be able to see her do it live. So I was literally thriving. I was like doing the choreography in my seat. Like I always do when I'm on a concert. So that was honestly like the best part. And so after we watched the rehearsals, we went back into our waiting room and then we waited for our turn to come up. So between the waiting time from our rehearsal to our real stage, they did take away our phones. So we didn't really have access to our phones. So what I personally did was they, there was a monitor. So we did get to watch the other rehearsal groups on the monitor. So that's what I was doing. Other people were just sleeping and other people were just talking. But I was just watching like the monitor because like I, I really like K-pop actually. So I really enjoyed watching the live performances. So I thought it was really cool. And... Other than that, we just waited around till we go back on stage. When we arrived at the music, ooh, when it was our turn, we went into the side of the stage. So the stage is right here. The audience is back here. I'm like, this is like a horrible presentation. So the stage is here. <laughs> the audience is here. And then like you go on the stage through the side, left side. And so we were on the side and we were just putting like our, our mic sets on. And we're just waiting to go on stage. We had a lot of rehearsal, I think, compared to other groups. Usually you get maybe like twice and then like the camera rehearsal there's two types of rehearsals there's like a dry rehearsal like on the stage and then there's a camera rehearsal later but the initial dry rehearsal I think we got most time just because it's a little bit hectic you know we had 19 members and obviously a stage is not meant for 19 members so it was we had to figure out a little bit of position changing and just like trying to figure out like where we're gonna go and how we're gonna move around so we definitely did that the dance from the dry rehearsal at least three times and our dance was actually really intense if you saw our um, performance it was really difficult dance so honestly you feel really drained instantly and so it didn't really help that i hadn't didn't sleep the day before i also I wasn't the only member that didn't sleep so um a lot of people that were living with us didn't sleep and so we were definitely feeling the drainage like around this point it was like that was not it so we came back on stage around 12 a.m to film our real stage this is going to be the one that's going to be broadcasted so our performance was half live show half pre-recording which means that the pre-recording means that you get to perform it just for fans that are there for you so we were there with the voice fans we got paired with the boys when they were doing their no air promotions but for them we were only doing the, re the rehearsal the camera rehearsal and the camera rehearsal is pretty much you go on stage and you do the live performance and now the cameras are on it where you have to look at for you can get like the perfect shots it was really actually complicated no one really like talks about this but this is like the hardest part but also the funnest part for me so for me I really enjoyed this part basically there's three cameras in the middle you have one in like the straight center across from the stage you have one on the right side of the stage you have one on the left side of the stage you also have a camera flying in the air from left to right like randomly like it's really crazy and then randomly that guy will pop up from the bottom of the stage and film you and lastly there's a camera moving on like the lower level from left to right like this so there's like actually a lot of cameras to manage and so you get around two camera rehearsals to pretty much memorize what camera is coming up at what time. You know what camera to look at because it'll literally flash red at you. So I mean it's still a very small red light but it's big enough for you to like recognize it while you're on stage. Luckily when you're doing the, the rehearsals it's going to be the same every time. They have it pretty planned so it's always going to be around the same time the same camera will turn on. So when your part comes up, you should look and you should realize which camera is coming up at what time, which camera do I look at, which camera is turning red, so you can get the good shot for your part, for your solo part when it comes up. So that was honestly like the kind of fun. I honestly really enjoyed it. It was kind of like playing a game and performing at the same time. So that was kind of iconic, to be honest. So I really enjoyed that part of the performance. And so that was a rehearsal and we did it around three times. So it was kind of exhausting, but it was okay. Some of us were still like making mistakes, so we had to keep redoing it and so then people started coming in for the live show so we had to do the real thing now so 
we did the real thing around twice. Everyone does it around twice. You do two cuts. Um, just in case, you know, you mess up more than one part, you can do another. Yeah, so everyone gets around two, and then you just um, combine the best parts. So we did our performance two more times. By this point, everyone already knew where to look, so it wasn't too much. We performed the song already a few times for quite a while, so it wasn't the craziest thing. We, I, I think I did a pretty decent job for my first music show, so it was fun. I really enjoyed performing for the music show. Also, since we're like a survival group program, um, group, no one, re you don't really have that many fans. The fans are not really there for you. They're there for the other groups that are promoting during that time. They don't really know that you're there, right? But I think all the fans, they were really supportive that day. And everyone was like really like curious to see everyone. And so I think it was really nice to have like supportive group of people. I think all the fans there that day were really nice to every group. So I really enjoyed the aspect of the music show as well. So after we finished the stage, by this point, I was honestly like extremely drained. But it was kind of like one of those things where it's like, you know, your body is really tired. But honestly, like my mind was like really energetic at the time just because I've always wanted to do a music show. You know, I never thought I would get to do one. So it was really fun for me. And so that kind of kept me going, I guess, for that day. And I really enjoyed it. And so when we went backstage, we went back to meet some of the other groups that were performing that day. So... I will now talk about like meeting them so so some of the groups we met like it was like also we met Mama Moo we met Lovelies, Gugu De Mina, NCT Mark um honestly as you would expect these interactions were honestly to me like to me they were kind of like a little bit awkward I mean like not just me because I did I mean I personally didn't really talk I only talked to like Mark, but everyone else I didn't really say anything because I honestly I can't I can't speak Korean, right? So I was just kind of like there and watching, but everyone was it was like we would meet them and it was kind of like dead silent and everyone was really nice. Like don't get me wrong, but it's just like you know they what they don't really know us. We don't really like know what to say to them because like they're promoting and they're like we're just an idol a survival group program group, so that they're probably like what you know. So I think like the vibe was kind of a little bit weird, but mostly when we were interacting when they were just giving us like advice, like because they're like obviously groups and then they were like, oh, like we're, we want to give you this advice so that you can do this. And then members would ask like if they had questions and they would just answer them really nicely back. So that was good. Um, the only person I talked to was Mark because he speaks English. So he noted that I was um, from America. And so he pointed me out and just, it was just like, hi, and I was just hi. So Therefore, Mark's one of my favorites. <laughs> so, Mark was one of my favorite interactions. It was really nice meeting him, yes. Oh, and lastly, so the last group we met was we met Red Velvet, which to me was like the most iconic part, to be honest. It was like the highlight of my entire experience, actually, because I got to dance with Red Velvet, their song, Really Bad Boy, which, like, I'm a cover dancer, so, like, dancing the group that you cover with the group that you're covering is kind of like a peak you know what I mean so for me that was kind of like iconic and I'm really happy I did that so I'm really thankful for that experience specifically so when we met them it was really I honestly didn't expect them to do it with me I originally thought that I was just gonna do it and like show it to them but not thinking about it that would be kind of weird like I'm just showing them their dance they're gonna be like oh okay cool you know what I mean but like the fact that um Joy um was so open to letting me dance with them that was like amazing so when we first met them um Joy and Silgi, they like talk the most for sure. And then Wendy definitely pitched in every now and then. Um, Yeti and Irene didn't really talk at all. <laughs> like at all. They just sat there and like smiled like this. Like, hi guys, good morning, like this. So like they just finished performing. So they were honestly, they're doing promotions. So like I said, it's really exhausting and they're doing it like every music show at this point. So they're probably like not having it, but like they obviously like are still smiling. They're like they're doing really good and they're like interacting with us really nicely so I really appreciate them taking the time to do that and so originally I told them at this point I already I was like at the peak of my Korean not that my Korean is good at all like it's not that good at all but like at this point I, I knew I had to say what I wanted to say like the very basic senses so I pretty much told them that I knew how to do the dance to really bad boy and Joy was like oh like let's do it together and so I was shook like I was shook like, I li like, if you watch the video, I'm literally just, like, the entire time. I'm, like, I'm, like, freaking out the entire time. Like, I'm literally just, like, smiling. Because, like, I can't stop smiling because I'm so happy, right? So, which is, you would expect, like, me to be, like, dancing with the girl groups that I cover, right? So, um, 
I told them that I could do this part, the oh my god, the really bad boy chorus part. And so they were like, oh my god. So we did it together and they were singing the, they were singing the song as we were dancing together. And like it was being recorded and obviously it's been uploaded now. I think so many people have seen it now. So if you've seen me dance with Red Velvet, like this is me and my, I literally was like as excited as I look like. Like pretty much an accurate present uh, the video is an accurate representation of how I felt so if you haven't seen it You should definitely check out the clip with that being said after I danced with red velvet That was pretty much the last thing we did that day. We went home Actually, I don't remember we went home. I don't remember what we did afterwards to be honest It's kind of a blur. I was really I do remember being really exhausted by them just because like I said I haven't didn't sleep before so there was really no time so I don't really remember what we did after. I just remember that we the last thing we did was dance with Red Velvet and I was literally thriving. So I'm extremely happy about that. So I'm really thankful to NBC for giving me the opportunity to dance with Red Velvet. And so yeah, um, performing on a music show was something that like I always wanted to do and I never thought I would be able to do. So I'm really glad I got to experience that also with my other members. So with that being said, that's the end of the story time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this little like story time like of my experience so there's definitely more coming soon let me know if you guys like this type of video or not so yeah bye guys